Hi everybody, quick video to go over a potential new film path on the Kinograph. Um, I wanted to make some room for some other stuff and for some flexibility for your ideas and what, whatever you want to add to it. And I also got some great feedback from one of our forums members, Jeff Crowell, suggested that a good way to do that is just to move the reels up and to their outer corners. So that's what I've done here, and it gave us a lot more room underneath. Uh, gave us some more room laterally between the two reels, and I think it's going to make it overall stronger. We're closer to the vertical extruded aluminum. I think it's a good idea. So thank you, Jeff. I would love your feedback on this. I haven't started on it. I'm going to as of today, and uh, any feedback that you have can get rolled into the prototypes and save us all time and get you what you want. So how does this work? Um, the most basic layer in this um, so the the dark solid let me start over the dark solid color here is the most basic layout you need that to get started and everything else is optional so let's go over the basic one off of the back of the um, feed reel under the regular roller here these two rollers on either side of the gate which is here are alignment rollers these are spring loaded and they push the edge of the film towards uh, this back panel to stabilize it in that direction. This is our lighting sphere, the gate. So over the alignment roller here, over the gate, underneath our perforation sensor, over the alignment roller on the other side, under a standard roller, and up onto our take-up reel. In this design, you only need one motor over here. Um, you can monitor the frames per second on the sensor to know if you need to speed up or slow down. And so you make that adjustment on the motor and then you provide some physical resistance on this motor uh, so that everything, um, so that you the film isn't slack while it's being pulled through. So that should be fairly simple as far as film paths go. Uh, but from there you can add a variety of things in combination the first one we'll go over is tension sensing. The lime green is for that. Um, you need two motors for this to work, and that is because instead of uh, monitoring our speed, we're actually monitoring the tension in this whole system so that the, the film doesn't get too tight. And the speed will be controlled by a single motored capstan roller here. This is a soft rubber roller that will grab the film and move it forward at a constant speed. And then these reels, their motors are responsible for taking up the slack in either direction to keep pace with that capstan roller. Um, one thing to note here is that the, the design for the tension monitoring, the tension sensing, has been a double roller swivel hub. And that is still a valid design but I have this idea for a single roller sensor that will cut down on the number of parts and the amount of space uh, required for the output of that sensing. So in other words, we get the same thing with a simpler design. I haven't started on it yet, so I can't show you anything, but hopefully it works out. And if it doesn't, because we move these up, oops, I could put it here, the, the old hub roller here, or here, and we have plenty of room for it. So win-win. But let's walk through what that would look like. Again, it's off the back of the feed reel underneath this roller. And we, we wanna measure in this design force in this direction. So we need to pair up with another roller here. So this is our, our sensor roller. This is a regular roller. And then everything's the same until here we wrap around the cap stand, give it a lot of surface area to grab the film. And then we repeat the sensor setup over here and over. All right, uh, if you wanted to add a wet gate, there's room for that too. We're basically trying to recreate a design we've seen in another machine. These are uh, soft rollers sitting in reservoirs of um, alcohol, and you're gonna need a roller down here. So this, this peach color denotes that if you're gonna add this and you don't use the tension setup, you're still going to need a roller here. So you're still going to need a roller um, to line it up. So off of the back end, let's say you let's say you, you're skipping all this stuff. You could either go straight here, or 
um, use the, the basic one here as well, up and over, or you could use the tension as well and it still works. All right, the blue is the same thing. If you're gonna do this, you're gonna need another roller here, even if you're not doing the tension one. And this is a sound head. We have, I don't wanna spoil anything or get anybody too excited, but we have a forums member who I will not name for now <laughs> uh, until they're ready, who is doing some really cool experiments with a sound head. It's very promising. Um, we will need to put our brains together to solve some part sourcing issues, but it could, it's more real than I thought it was going to be. Uh, and so for that, we would come either off of the alignment roller and down here, if you're skipping the capstan or around the capstan under this regular roller over the sound head. This is sort of a placeholder for all the stuff that has to go with the sound head and underneath a regular roller again, and either you skip the tension sensor if you're not doing that, or wrap around the tension sensor if you are up and over. Uh, for that, it is going to be very likely that you need a cap stand. Uh, I can't see, I mean, a cap stand would really help you out here. And I basically, I made my mind like how far down this rabbit hole do I wanna go with you in this video? I'm not going to, I just stopped myself. But if with a weighted cap stand here, it becomes a flywheel and we can maintain hopefully a really um, even linear speed, which is necessary for capturing analog sound like that. There are other ways to um, adjust for variances in speed through software, but we're not there yet. All of this to say uh, that this is a sketch of possibilities that is supposed to increase our flexibility of design in the future for add-ons. Let me know what you think. Um, please comment below, share this to whoever needs to see it, and I look forward to hearing from you.